All right, collectors, thanks for joining me today, December 3rd, 2023, to talk about some of the things that matter to me in the toy industry, the toy collection uh, community. Um, we've got a lot to talk about today, a ton of stuff come up. And usually I don't do this, but we have a little bit of a, a media um, uh, update at the end. Um, this this could spawn a ton of toys, but we'll see how it goes. And I'm going to be trying to be brief and concise and kind of get through this. Let's get to the pickups straight away because we have got so much to cover. And I mean, it was just, um, I got lots of deals, lots of deals. Uh, Hey guys, if you like this channel, if you find it entertaining, if you find it informative, if you find it just fun to hang around on the channel and maybe comment or share some ideas, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And we're almost to a thousand. So, I mean, that's exciting. If we hit a thousand, like I said, we'll be doing that Ross Viper three pack giveaway immediately. So I'll put up a video and I'll give you some instructions on how to enter. And don't forget, we also have the, the riddle thing going, uh, the riddle contest going uh, on the, um, uh, Python Cobra Officer review. Uh, if you know, take a look at that video, and inside that video are all the clues. The first person to solve the clue to what I'm looking for and send me an email on it. Uh, look at the details in that video, and you'll know how to do it. Uh, gets a free Steel Core uh, two pack set straight to your home. No, for free. You don't pay shipping. You don't pay nothing. I just send it straight to your house. So, all right. Let without further ado, further ado, let's get straight into it now. As always, we're going to start out with the deals because that's where I like to start off with. Um, I, I, either trades, deals, you know, things I found that were, you know, discounted or whatever. That's where the fun's at also, right? It's always fun to kind of beat the, you know, beat the system a little bit. Legally, legally, nobody's doing anything illegal here. But anyways, um, at GameStop, here's what I picked up. Now, I've been trying to collect the mindless wave because I want to build that figure. I don't necessarily like this figure. I don't know who this is. <laughs> I just don't know. She's got a nice head sculpt and she's got some nice, ooh, I could use that purple effect for um, Bishop. Bishop is a great character, so that's cool. But this is what I'm interested in. I'll probably use that head sculpt on, on something else too, but those are crap joints. You see that? That's crap joints. <laughs> Anyways, I picked her up, but not only her, I got her. So a couple of things, I picked her up for the head sculpt. I picked her up also for the, I don't necessarily care about her. I don't know what's going on with her. Bath, head sculpt, but wait, there's more. This was on one visit. I've been looking for this fella everywhere. Haven't been able to find him. And then there he was sitting at GameStop as well. Uh, you know, so here he is, the uh, seahorse, the sea dragon, Storm. Uh, that that uh, Aquaman is going to be riding, or anybody else could ride, really. Uh, Mythic Legions, uh, you know, any kind of different uh, type of soldier could ride this thing. You know, mythical type beast. So, digging that. Uh, and finally, I've been looking for this guy as well everywhere. For some reason, this guy is one of my favorite figures. And now I realize why um, he, nobody had picked him up. Oh gosh, some knucklehead did this to it. Now I just saw that, but that's fine because I got a huge deal on it. And I picked him up as well from GameStop that day. Now, all three of these things, I did the two for one, or was it the buy two, get one free or whatever. And then I also did the 10% um, the discount uh, as a veteran and uh, ended up being like 50 bucks, something like 50 bucks. So uh, basically I got, her or him for free, one of the two. So not a bad deal there. I might have to make some more room because there's a lot of stuff coming. Now, the second deal that I got, again, at GameStop, I had not used, again, I've been, I've been looking for the Mindless Wave everywhere. I had not used my $5 discount from uh, uh, November. So when I saw this guy pop up at GameStop as well, I pulled the trigger on him. So when I pull the trigger on him using my $5 discount from November, 10% discount for veterans, he ended up being like 17 bucks. That's awesome. Uh, I've heard some people complain about this figure, uh, but I've always wanted a representation of Luke Cage. I'm not necessarily buying it for the figure. Once again, I did, I do like the character, uh, but I also want number, number one, these hands, you know, these fists are great, but also the mindless bath as well. So there's that. 17 bucks, you gotta get a deal. 
The other thing that I picked up, same thing, but this one was absolutely, literally I paid like $2 for it. So Iron Man Midnight Suns. So here's what I did here. I took, I took the, I had $16 in, so number one, it's that much. And I had $16 saved up in um, points online. Uh, so I used that and then I did my $5 discount and then uh, like the, the, the veterans discount. It basically ended up being like 99 cents or something. So that's crazy that I was able to get this one for so cheap. So, you know, always got to look for a deal. The other thing that I got, the other deal that I got, this guy I knew was a huge roll of the dice because I knew he was one of the first characters to go in this wave. Now I already have a Jessica. So, and you guys saw it in the video when I picked him up, 13 bucks, 14 bucks for Roger Rabbit, Super 7. Super 7 goes on sale sometimes, but the characters that everybody wants, not much. And so when I went to the uh, front there and rung him up, he actually rung up for 20.49. And I was like, no, this is wrong. Look at the price. She went back there and was real nice about it and corrected it for me. So uh, that was fantastic. Now, here's some more deals. You guys saw that we were at that place called Brad's Toys. Well, I've got, I had some tremendous deals there. Number one, this guy right here, $28.99. I know it's a little pricey there. Short round, I'd been looking for him. Uh, I actually picked him up for $22. They had a, a discount going on or a pro promotion sale going on. I mean, that's that's great. I'll pick him up all day. Um, and, you know, the, the people there were super nice. The guides were super nice there, the, the crew. Uh, that they have work in there. So I'm definitely going to be adding that to my stop. Uh, Brad's Toys is over at the Hewlin Mall, you know, over across the ways from, you know, GameStop on the other side of the mall, basically. So um, nice place, nice people. Not only that, but at a different time, because I stopped by there twice last week. The first time I stopped by, I picked up two things. Number one, I picked up, because it's hilarious and because I want to put them in my room because there's so many toys and I think it would be fun to do. I think I seen Mad Hatter do this once or I can't forget who it was. I, I, I forget who it was that did this, but I thought it was hilarious to do. Uh, and uh, I picked up this guy right here. They actually sold me this guy right here. They were It was closer to Black Friday and they were still doing a promotion, 52 bucks. For this guy right here, I believe. I believe that's what it was. I have to look at the receipt, but it was 50-ish bucks. They were doing a great, great little promotion sale. I mean, I can't thank them enough for it. Um, I don't think that promotion is still going on, but um, fantastic. Not only that, but also when I was a kid, I had this as a kid. Um, uh, it was it was something that. Now this isn't to scale. I remember the one I had as a kid was much bigger than this, but in keeping with the Godzilla theme, <laughs> speaking of Godzilla, there he is, the Shogun Godzilla with the launching arm from Super 7 and the flame tongue effect. Um, picked him up. Uh, actually, I bought these two together, the Waldo and the Godzilla uh, for 118, I wanna say. So both of these for 118. So sorry about that. That was not a bad deal after all. That is actually pretty pretty big savings. Um, I've been after both of these for a while. I just hadn't find a, I just hadn't found a good price for them. So if I found it a good price. I was going to pull the trigger on it. All right, now let's get to the regular pickups. These are the regular pickups that I paid full price for, and maybe one day I'll find it all these and feel sad about it or disillusioned. I don't know, but I never get to find it. My Ollie's has been terrible lately. I haven't found nothing there. I've been luckier at Ross than, than Ollie's. Um, I'm really kind of disillusioned in them right now. <laughs> but anyways, uh, last week I found Mr. Tom Holland, Spider-Man. Uh, I, I don't know if I put it in a video or not, but yeah, I found him. He was actually out on the pegs, Tom was. Um, let me see, who else did I find? MJ, I found her out on the pegs as well. There she is. Uh, you know, I had to pick those two up. And then I also found him on the pegs. The only one, actually, no, I had to ask for him. He was not ever out on the pegs. Uh, there's a close up of his face there. His hair is a little bit big, but still very nice. So we've got that. This one, I might have to go get another one of this uh, because I found him on the pegs, but boy was, look at this. 
and they had no other one out there. I mean, they had other ones, but this was the one that was least jacked up. So I'm a box, you know, a lot of my stuff is, as you can see, still in boxes. I take a lot of it out. You guys see, see me do reviews all the time, but some of the stuff I like to keep in boxes. So I buy two of them. If I find him again, I'll probably pick him up. Uh, I don't want a bent Tobey Maguire, but it's okay. It's okay. So I picked him up. Uh, next thing I picked up was, you guys saw my review on it. If you didn't, go check it out. Great, great figure. Uh, and I have an idea about these gliders. Go check out my review and see what I say about them. So um, I, I think this is a great figure. Uh, it, you know, everybody has their opinion on it, and that's okay. Uh, but what makes it great is... <laughs> is that mug <laughs> anyways moving on um regular price right here i just uh, i just have quite a few of these um i don't have all of them uh and and i wanted i wanted this i have a lot of batman and i want a representation of this guy in that collection so i picked up alfred so um yeah so i saw him on the pegs i saw him on the pegs with Midnighter and he just looks cool. I like that Midnighter's look. So I went ahead and picked him up. So there's that. I guess I might not need to do another part. Or I might, I don't know. It's getting kind of heavy up here. The other thing I picked up or that what, what Big Bat sent to me uh, a while back, actually, I, I forgot to put him up there, but I remember when I played Warhammer and everybody was saying, oh, you can't bring back the Primarchs. You can't be either there too, but this is years ago. Now, apparently the Primarchs are walking around doing, you know, fighting all kinds of demons and stuff in Warhammer. The designs of the suits of these guys and the toys and, and little models that I used to paint were absolutely phenomenal. And the lore and the, in the you know, the, the universe built around them, the story built around them is fantastic. And when I saw this guy come up, one of the most powerful uh, um, uh, Primarchs in the Warhammer 40K pop up, I just had to get them. My first love is gonna be the Blood Angels. But these, and then the Space Wolves, and then these guys. But this this guy was pretty, pretty uh, measures or uh, casts a big shadow in Warhammer 40K. And that is Marnius Kalgar. Oh, no, Marnius Kalgar. <laughs> That's the chapter master. Uh, Robot Gilliman. I don't know how to say his name, uh, absolutely, but he's the Primarch for the Ultramarines. I'm sorry if I butchered his name, but I, you know... Um, he, Marnius Calgar is the chapter master and this guy is is the Primarch. Uh, I said Marnius Calgar because that's, I mean, it's ingrained in my head that he's the guy for the Ultramarines and I played it when he was the guy for the Ultramarines. Joy Toy does a great job of all of these little details. I know you guys don't like watching these sometimes, but this guy is, he's so hefty. He's so hefty. And look at all those details. I'm gonna, I'm gonna review them, but um, it's okay if you guys don't watch it. I like them <laughs> and I'm going to crack them open. So I might as well do a review. What also came through the door was the Ronald McDonald bubble. I was supposed to get them last week, but for some reason it got delayed. Uh, like the his tank. <laughs> but anyways, Ronald McDonald and the Hamburglar came in today or actually a few days ago. And finally for what came in the mail, uh, I saw this guy, uh, you guys saw me pick him up in the video. And I couldn't turn him down. I mean, I saw him and he just looked really great. Um, I actually remember seeing him on a few uh, documentaries uh, from the dinosaurs. And that is a Carnotaurus. Uh, I, I, forgot, I forgot what his name stood for, but he kind of looks, you know, boy, look at that. Look at that skull. Just looks amazing. So I had to have it. Plus he's red with little horns on him. Got to have him. Got to have him. So anyways, those are the pickups for this week, guys. Um, again, as everybody says, you know, not everybody, but there's been a few people who said either you're you're a millionaire or you're in debt up to your eyeballs. Neither one of those is true, but I do recycle. Uh, I am responsible with my money and I do recycle some of these toys that, you know, like I said, you guys know my system. If you go back and look through some of the videos, I tell you how to do it, how to do it responsibly and not let any of this interfere with your family. So, uh, but anyways, this is what I picked up. Let me know in the comments below. Did you get any of this stuff? Are you rolling the dice to see if you get some clearance stuff? Um, are you depending on Ollie's to get all of your classified figures now? I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd just take that. Oh, 
Oh, well, we'll talk about that in the in the in the news in a minute. So, anyways, this is the weekly pickup, guys. Let's get to the news. All right, guys, here comes the news. It's going to come fast and furious because we got a lot to cover and we just got to get through this. There's so much, so much going on. Let's start as usual with my bread and butter, and that is GI Joe. And as always, let's start out with some deals. I don't think I have a joke of the day or uh, some some boneheaded thing somebody did this week. So we'll just skip that unless I think of something. Anyways, uh, starting off with Ross. Now I've been lucky enough to find uh, you know a couple of those uh, Ross Cobra Vipers, but now it, it's come through the grapevine that Crockmaster is starting to show up at, at Ross, along with Outback. I happen to think these two figures are absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, Crocmaster for the figure and Fiona, the, uh, the alligator or crocodile, crocodile, because he's Crocmaster. Uh, and Outback because the head sculpt and, you know, just, he just looks great. He's got lots of accessories too. So um, $5.99 for Outback, $11.99 for Crocmaster. Uh, I'm going to be hitting up some, I, I hit up some of my raw stores uh, this morning. I, I came up empty handed zero bupkis nothing nada <laughs> so we'll see we'll keep searching hopefully we'll get lucky um uh, to me the, the the grand prize was actually finding the the, the viper three pack I, I think that's what you know you know i i really wanted to get a couple more of those so anyways moving on the other thing that came out is some kind of some leaked snapshots of, I don't know if they upgraded the cards or not, for the Duke, the Retro Duke. Here he is. That's what he looks like. Very reminiscent of uh, the retro version of Duke, including that, you know, made up looking gun or rifle. So anyways, there's there he is. I'm looking forward to, to pre-ordering that and uh, getting it from Hasbro Pulse because if you try to get it from Walmart, good luck. Uh, the other thing that uh, popped up as well was Scarlet, uh, the Scarlet Retro uh, version. She also looks very reminiscent of the old school Scarlet, and I dig it. Looking fantastic there. She has a real rifle. That's an M16. Uh, so anyways, looking really great. And then here are some kind of like leaked shots of, uh, uh, well, a, a Metalhead. Big Boa, Airborne, and then that 60th uh, anniversary, um, like, torpedo-looking guy. Um, I forgot what they call him, but Recon Diver or whatever. Um, a lot of people, including myself, feel like this is that, that 60th anniversary uh, thing is actually kind of a, a, a direct result as... Um, of Valiverse, uh, you know, muscling in on Hasbro stuff. Um, you know, it, you know, you, you may say that, Hey, you know, Valiverse is a little player. I mean, I guess they still are. They're, they're little, but they certainly are siphoning some of that income from Hasbro. They're not the only players in the game anymore. And at this point, Hasbro, I believe in my mind has taken notice. It's just too coincidental, uh, to be, coincidence so um anyways so I, i'm looking forward to all these i'm not saying that this is a bad move on hasbro's part i'm saying that this is this is what what competition does it breeds options innovation and choices right creativity so i'm all in for this in addition to that here's a closer look at the um the action soldier this looks very reminiscent of valiverse again what 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 uh, what they're offering here uh, and Big Boa, kind of a closer snapshot of Big Boa. I really like, as a matter of fact, I still have Big Boa. Uh, my brother sent me, uh, uh, you know, some of the pieces that I'm missing, I think, from Big Boa. So, um, but I had Big Boa as a kid, and so did my brother. I really dig that character. Well, that's it for G.I. Joe for now. Um, let's, uh, let's take a look at some of the other items that came out. Uh, the other thing that interested me, and I don't know if there's a sale or not anymore, but it is um, the Terminators from McFarland. The only ones that I'm interested in is I'm mildly interested in the Space Wolf, but I'm definitely, I already pre-ordered the Terminator. Love, love that Terminator. I'm absolutely interested in it. So I've already pre-ordered it and it's out there and I can't wait, can't wait uh, to get that one in. You know, he looks like he stands way taller than those seven inch uh, space marines and you guys have seen 
how big those Space Marines already are. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm just hoping, I don't know how much they cost though. Is it gonna be a $29 Terminator or a $50 Terminator? Yeah, I don't know. So the other thing that came out is uh, the Red Sonia from Boss Fight Studios. I'm really, I, I, I wanna order her just to see how she compares to the new, um, or to the Loose Collectors version of Red Sonia. I think that Loose Collectors version is a is an okay figure. It's it's a good figure, uh, but I, there were some things that were kind of lacking on it, you know. So um, I really, really, really want to get this Red Sonny figure to see if they they've done some improvements to it. I hope they did um, because they're going to be under. I don't. To me, they're going to be a lot under a lot of scrutiny. Uh, oh gosh, SH Figure Arts uh, put out their new Guile. Uh, you know, action figure. December 1st, approximately, you know, it costs $59 in, in Japan, but we're gonna see it for $75 or $85 on Big Bad or Entertainment Earth or any one of those other companies. Maybe if you go to Hobby Link Japan, you might get it for $74.99 or something like that. But um, I don't know. I mean, I'm interested in it, but Jada is making a quality product for way, way less. So why, why would I spend money on this? Uh, <laughs> what? No, I mean, it costs like three Jada figures and the Jada figures are awesome. So I'm just showing you guys options. I'm interested in it, but I'm probably not going to get that. I'm going to stick with Jada. Sorry, SH Figure Arts. I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but you know, innovation, let's go. Competition. Uh, I'm mildly interested in this DC Universe, uh, DC Multiverse, uh, McFarlane Superman, kind of smiling, kind of just floating around up there. Yeah, I mean, that's the classic Superman, Superman classic colors. Yeah, there he is. Might get it, might not, I don't know. Uh, this one though does have me excited. December 5th on the NECA web store, it's the Final Fall Raphael, or Final Fight Raphael, something like that. I like it because he's got all the arrows stuck. It kind of reminds me of, of when Wolverine, you know, fights those ninjas and he gets all those arrows stuck in him and he's still fighting. So, you know, that uh, that picture there reminds me of that kind of, you know, warrior that's, you know, all shot up but still keeps fighting till his last breath. So I'm definitely gonna be picking that one up. Uh, now this one is a little bit of a disillusion or a little bit of a letdown. It's Captain Rex from Hot Toys. Um, I was kind of in to get this one and then I found out that he doesn't have uh, a head or like, um, you know, a regular head. He just has a helmet. So just helmets. Uh, I'm out. Uh, I, you know, no, you're not going to, you know. So what's going to happen is Hot Toys is going to put this one out. Hope you buy it. And then later on, they're going to sell you another one exactly like this one. Where maybe with an effe an, another effect or two and the head. <laughs> so no, no. What, what is it? Uh, sh you know, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, whatever. But I'm not gonna do it. I'm, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna fall for this. Uh, you know, if you gave me the human head, I'd be in for it. But nah, not this way. Nope. Uh, moving on to another NECA property, uh, RoboCop and Alex Murphy. Right before he comes, uh, RoboCop, the most traumatic five minutes of television watching from my youth probably was when you know he got shot all the way up uh, by those bad guys, and Murphy got destroyed so you can have him just walking out in his regular outfit there or you can have him all shot up and switch out his arms and stuff and make him you know just a mess so um I, i'm gonna definitely be picking up this figure because you know robocop is one of my favorite franchises so definitely looking forward to that and i immediately pre-ordered godzilla minus one from super seven uh speaking of godzilla minus one i just went and saw the movie no spoilers, no spoilers. I'm not going to spoil anything for anybody, but it's definitely a fantastic movie. I was not expecting uh, that level of awesomeness. I was just expecting some monsters and some buildings crashing. That's it. Well, it maybe some, you know, Godzilla breath flying everywhere, fighting a, a tank or two. But it was, it was a very well uh, told story and a very nice movie. Uh, nice. Uh, a well thought out movie and, uh, you know, a cohesive movie. We haven't been getting a lot of those lately. So very excited about, uh, getting this from super seven, go out there and go watch Godzilla minus one. I really recommend that movie. It's really good. It's one of the best movies I think of the year that we've gotten so far. So 
Um, anyways, let's see what else do we got? Oh, let me let me uh, come over here to Savage Cru Crucible. Now, when Savage Crucible first came out, Crucible Savage Crucible first came out, uh, I was like, eh. <laughs> but then this one picture, and I think I have a video playing of it right here. Um, came out and uh, they sucked me right in with this this uh, this figure. I don't know if it's still if it's late too late to get it or not, but just the way he looks, just the way that lizard dude, anthropomorphic lizard looking dude looks, I really dig it. So uh, congratulations, Savage Crucible, you got me for one of those figures, maybe two. Uh, I just really dig the way he looks. Almost like you could might even be able to use him as Lizard Man from the Spidey universe. So. You didn't hear that from me. Anyways, moving on. Uh, I did get a, an email from a gentleman um, whose uh, e, e, uh, whose YouTube handle is JD Toy Hoarder uh, for some really cool diorama pieces he found at uh, Five Below. Uh, and I'm always on the lookout for those cheap diorama pieces because, gosh, I don't want to pay an arm and a leg for these 3D printed things, you know, or, or things that they produce by the bushels over in China. And then they charge us $12.99 for a little bottle this big. What? Who's what? <laughs> so anyways, um, here's here's some of the pictures that he sent over. He found all these little sets over at Five Below. He says they scale well. I, you guys saw me use one of these, I believe one of these sets uh, for my Roadblock, Mesco Roadblock review. It worked fantastic, I thought. I thought it scaled really well. So um, go check them out. And thank you, sir, for, uh, for alerting us to that. Uh, always on the lookout for deals, absolutely. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about real quick uh, as far as kind of news and kind of different things is I've got a new project in the works. I've seen you guys really like the vehicle stuff because who doesn't, who, who wants to pay quadruple the price of a vehicle that you could just have made for, you know, a fraction of the cost, right? So um, I found this bike, or actually I was, I was alerted to this bike online that scaled well. Only problem with it is it was just too doggone bright. Uh, and again, I'm not a big fan of all these oranges and, you know, neon colors on a vehicle that my Joes are going to use. I don't want them to stand out. Uh, I want them to kind of be a little bit more realistic. And so I'm working on it. I'll be releasing that video uh, later this, later next week, this week, next week, you know, in the next few days. Uh, see how you guys like how that scales with the, with the Joes. So that's coming up. So don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, hopefully we get to a thousand. <laughs> um, so that's coming out. The other thing, now here's where we're going to talk about a little bit about media that, that's come out. Uh, because this just hit, you know, this this just hit my ears. Number one, they're going to start producing Fallout, the series for, I can't remember what what station it is, but it is Fallout. Um, I played that game for hours back in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, you know, back when it was even a top-down three-quarter view, like, um, what, what's that, Elder, Elder Scrolls or whatever it's called. Um, essentially, you know, Fallout, the series is coming and it looks amazing. I put the links to the previews and the details of this video. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, the other thing that, that came out was, um, and this just hit the, the, uh, the, the wire is Godzilla X Kong, the rise of a new empire. I'll put the, the link in the description. It's a, It looks amazing. It looks really cool. But then again, I'm kind of biased. I like big monster movies. Uh, you know, I'm just a big monster movie, Keiju type fan. So anyways, uh, I'm, I'm always a fan for that. I'll definitely be going to check that movie out. And that trailer just dropped a few hours ago. So check that out. Halo is also having season two will be released next year, I think early February, something like that. So um, I'll put the link in the description below. Season two for Halo looks pretty cool. Go check it out. Um, and and finally, um, don't forget to vote uh, on the Nerdy uh, nerdy Awards. Those close tonight. Um, hopefully you've gone and voted. Um, hey, if you feel like voting for me, great. If you feel like voting for one of the other great toy tubers on, on the nominations list, great um you know you get to share your voice and your opinion for a little bit right and big nerdy does a pretty good 
show about it and a pretty uh, a good presentation on it. Uh, and it just brings the, the, the community together. So whether you vote for me or not, uh, participate, you know, add your voice to the community and, and let's have some fun there, right? Uh, and as always, as I've stated before, I'm greatly humbled uh, and, and highly flattered and grateful that you guys added me to the, to the official nomination list. Um, I had no idea you guys were doing that. And I'm just, again, 100% grateful and, and honored to be on there. Uh, it's a privilege. It's a privilege. Um, uh, we're so close to a thousand. Let's go ahead and keep getting there. Again, I said the Viper three pack, that'll be going up immediately. Don't forget about the uh, riddle. Late breaking news, guys. Wow. We just had somebody solve the riddle in record time. I thought it was pretty hard myself or pretty tough to find. There'll be some more details on that, but don't worry. Uh, as you guys know, if you guys have been with the channel for quite a while, I like putting up riddles. I like, I, you know, unfortunately for me, I'm getting older and I have some of the, you know, I often over, over order some stuff. I forget, you know, and have some extra stuff. Uh, we'll be putting that up for more riddles. So, wow, didn't expect that to get solved so quickly. Um, I'll follow up on that and let you know who, how they want it, as I always do, as I'll put up a video for everybody. And hopefully, you know what? After we hit a thousand, uh, I'll wait a little bit, maybe a week or two, uh, and we'll put up another riddle. I got another thing to, you know, I've got quite a few things that I, um, you know, a few things I picked up at Ross, a few things I overordered on. We'll put something else out there so that you guys can, um, you know, figure out another riddle. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm shocked that, that they got it that quick, uh, but good, good for him. Uh, he was, he stayed with it and he got it done. So back to the news that's happening in the, uh, Pyth the Cobra officer Python patrol video, go back there, check it out and solve it. Um, I'll send you the steel core. Um, and, and that's it guys. Hey, this has been such a busy week. Uh, lots of things going on. I'm very excited for everything that's coming out. Lots of sales. I, now I didn't go crazy with the sales. Like I was saying earlier, I felt some kind of way attacked. I literally felt attacked by all the sales. Uh, so where I could and where I needed to, I picked and choose, I picked and choose, uh, carefully the sales that I wanted, um, and the sales that made sense to me. I didn't go hog wild and pick every single sale out there. It's not our responsibility to get these companies back in the black. If they've made some poor choices, that's not our problem. Uh, but if they do have a sale that makes sense to us and that it, it you know, benefits us and you know, you've, you need it, you've thought about it, then by all means, jump in there, get some, you know, get some savings for you. All right, guys. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for joining me on this crazy, insane trip of, uh, of, of an experience on, you know, the toy community. Um, don't forget, we do this for fun. We do this for joy. Put a smile on your face. Go, if you're feeling kind of sad or kind of, you know, having a rough day, you know, grab one of these toys, crack it open, escape from the world for a little bit, a little bit and put a smile on your face. That's what it's all about guys. So, um, let me work on that project and I'm hoping to bring you that vehicle video next week. I will bring it to you and thanks for watching. As long as you guys keep, keep watching these things, I'll keep rolling them out.